Got a question. Uh, can a catalytic converter go on fire? Driving this truck yesterday. So it's a ride on a real, real bad from the cat. The cat's broken up. I said it wasn't, but it is. Alright, so I believe that the loose particles broke loose, went into the muffler, and about that same time, this thing was belching out thick gray smoke. I heard ding, 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 ding. And like something was flying out of the exhaust and it was burning. It's not oil, it wasn't gas, it wasn't coolant, it runs fine, but it sounds deeper than it did. I don't know if a cat can actually flame up internally. Now I think I have loose shit though in this freaking muffler. That sucks. This thing's all rotten out anyway. I almost just feel like buying a whole cat back. I can do it right in my driveway. Get a Dynamax 3 inch cat back. It's gonna sound a little quieter, but I don't care. I can build the whole system from the front back for cheap. Cheaper than a rip off shop would do around here. But yeah. Can a cat go on fire? That sucks. We got loose shit in the muffler. How are we gonna get that out? Let's do the shuffle. We got a lower windshield wiper too. Side's too high. Gotta go down about that much. Shit. Alright, I think I'm pretty much done here, but the deal is, if I ever were to uh, bash this can out, it was clogged, and it went on fire the other day, and I got an oil leak again, oil pan, yeah, I fixed that good, I think the pan's warped, but um, this is where they welded it, should really have a ball flange right here, a ball flange, ball flange, Pretty long distance, but I think I could do it there to there. Shit, it's probably about two feet. I don't need a two foot long rod. And uh, I'll probably clear this thing out. Temporary fix. Muffler. Full mass 240. Huh. Because if I had a grinder, you could grind this all down, maybe. I don't know. She so got the cross member right here. Not gonna go from over there, that's for sure. No, 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 no. I don't know. Could cut it. Let's have that ball flange kit, a clamp, and a clamp, and then get someone to weld it. It's another idea, but I'd hate to waste the ball flange clamp, but I can always cut it. If I ever fix it right and put a motor in this thing, so it doesn't freaking burn a lot of oil. Um, I can cut the ball flange and reuse it so I can get a whole replacement cat with a ball flange, put another ball flange in the cat back. I don't know. So I'm up against, that's why I haven't done anything with this. I don't know where the hell I'm going to cut it. I probably could cut it right here and get away with it. Might work. That would probably be the best spot right about there. I can get a sozzle in, cut it straight and then clamp it. I think I have enough room before the step and after the step that's not going to hit the cross member. I got about a fingers, finger of whatever distant room over there. <laughs> Gotta do something fast. It's not good when it's plugged up. Oh and it's still this rust encapsulator stuff I put on here years ago. It's all pitted up. It's kind of smoothed it down. did this years ago and I'm surprised it's still holding up. It's